right, guys, welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Imani, and today I'm joining you live from the beautiful town of Migori. Now, Migori is the last and most southernmost town here in Kenya before you go on to Isbania and then finally Tanzania. So it's the last town, and most likely if you're using this border of uh, Isbania to go to Tanzania, if you want to go to Mwanza and different places from Kenya, you'll be passing through Migori. So, to be honest with you, it's a long road of around four kilometers, and it's pretty much shops and various things like that. So, to walk it might be a bit monotonous. So, what I'll do, I'll get on a border border and give you a nice bike ride and a tour of this amazing, beautiful town on the hill here of Migori. Very beautiful. This cosmopolitan you got people from all over Kenya that live here and you also have people from other countries that call this place of Migori home so if you're new to the channel I do appreciate if you can consider liking sharing and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe Karibuni sana Jamhuri ya Kenya Karibuni sana Migori Migori is a multi-ethnic town which acts as the capital of Migori County here in Kenya. The town is located around 63 kilometers south of Kisi town and 22 kilometers north of the Tanzanian border. Migori is the second most viable urban center in Luo Nyanza after Kisumu City. However, it is the third largest town in former Nyanza province after Kisumu and Kisi. As compared to most Nyanza towns, Migori is unique because it's a multi-ethnic makeup consisting of the Luo-speaking people, Abasuba community, Abagusi, Abaluya, Kuria, Indians, Arabs, and Somali people. Increasingly, there are also Westerners living in the town, engaged in mission activities, as well as gold mining at the Makalda mine. So as we're riding along this road, guys, I'm sure you're observing there are a lot of motorbike taxis on the side of the road. I've noticed there are a lot, a lot of the motorbike taxis in this town, something that I've also seen when I was in Kakamega as well as Kisumu. Now, it's literally, this is the road. It's a long road and it will take you right down to the border. Um, is Bania and then you can cross over to Tanzania and head on to other parts in Tanzania and literally there are so many different businesses along the, the road before you get to Tanzania as you can see there's a market area there are a lot of hotels as well and it's a very interesting place to do business in fact people who um, have some skills in various businesses a lot of the border towns is a very interesting place because you have a lot um, of people traveling to and from different places and crossing the border and they'll need places to stay they'll need certain things to buy so it's very interesting so here we're on a bridge this is the bridge here in Migori and we're just going just riding over there even right around the bridge area there there's also some local businesses you can find there so this is just a little ride that I did of the Migori town pretty much this is what you will see as we carry on down to Isbania if you was to follow the road so yeah we're gonna go and explore Muhuru Bay now it's another area in the uh, Nyanza province and we'll check that out so I hope you've got an idea of what it's like in Migori and you may pass through here this border town if you're going to Tanzania one day or you may be coming from Tanzania perhaps maybe Mwanza and you come into Kenya you may pass through this border town very interesting place there's some amazing places where you can stay so you'll enjoy it here So this is the market scene here in Migori town here in southern Kenya just before Tanzania really beautiful local flavor here man you can get real nice products cabbages onions beans tomatoes maize it's just a nice laid-back peaceful vibes here in Migori just on on the right there you can see some buses these are the buses that can take you to other areas near Migori so yeah it's a beautiful day the weather is around 29 no 27 degrees Celsius so it's a good vibe
so right now i'm on the way to muhuru bay in the nyanza province now this is a real rural kenya so you'll get a real vibe of the village life here in kenya now just to give you a little backdrop some information about muhuru bay muhuru bay is a town in the nyanza province of kenya it is situated on the banks of lake victoria and some people also call it lake nyanza and other local names and it's very close to the border with tanzania now one of the nicknames for this town is end of the road because literally uh, if you carry on you'll of course go to tanzania and then you have the lake victoria there and in this area fishing is one of the mainstay of the economy in this area there are a lot of fishermen that live there and one of the local communities that live there you will find a lot of luo people and the luo language is spoken a lot there but you can also hear kiswahili as well some people speak swahili and english so definitely this will be an interesting place we're checking out today and stay tuned to inspire for travel so i'm seeing a church here if you don't mind me asking what's the name of this church here okay and is it like mainly uh locals that comes to this church here yes yes okay all right So what's the main language spoken in this area? You know mother tongue. Yeah, mother yeah, what's the mother tongue? Mm. Mother tongue. Yeah. That's the local language. Mother tongue. Mother tongue. <laughs> but is it Luo? The one, huh? Luo. It is a Luo language. A Luo language. It is a Luo language. Okay. The one you are those those boys. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So yeah, the, in this area here, the main language smoke, spoken is Luo, and you will hear words like Amusi, Oyaure, Edinadi. Yeah. So by now, if you meet anybody, yeah, mm, the language he, he can use. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know Yeah, mm. you know mm. So yeah. I'm Edinadi. Edinadi. How are you doing? Yeah. Hey. So I'm learning a few new words here. Binade is how are you in the language of Luo. Yeah. And good afternoon is Omeore. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Chio. Chio. And not Oyaore. Oh, 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 yeah, Oyaore. The same. The same, huh? The same language. Yeah. The one. Many people know, no, it's that one, Oyaure. Oyaure, mm. many but people. But it's you, yeah. you people. Oh. So, yeah, that's very interesting, guys, because in Kenya, of course, the unifying language is Kiswahili. Many people speak Kiswahili. But when you go to various communities and villages like the one I'm here, you know you'll find people have their own mother tongue or indigenous language for example luo in other parts of kenya you have kikuyu some places you have luya you have samburu you have kalenjin you know so different languages there's over 42 languages um, in kenya apart from english and swahili as well So we're walking towards um, yeah, a beach here yeah, and of course it's, it's part of Lake Victoria. L Lake Victoria literally surrounds this whole area here and some parts you have white sand, some you have brown. You'll see some of the white sand beaches today.
So this is an amazing view guys, I hope you all are seeing. I'm telling them it is my my best friend indeed from England. <laughs> okay. So one of the main stay of the economy here is fishing. So you have many fishermen that of course earn a living from fishing in the lake. And you're going to see some of that right now, guys. Yeah, yeah, I can see. Hello. He said, 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 he so in me wana me me no te me wara me ma me 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 ba no en mara Te me me a to me me a na de ni wolo me a ri ko so ni wolo me a Sao Ko lesu ke len pesa O isa no me o ba me a ba me a ke le ma ko lesu mi <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, okay, so this is one of the beaches here in um, Muhuru Bay, and this is what it's like here on the one section of the bay here and you can see there's different fishing boats people are fishermen have just come back from fishing and some will be going out later on and a lot of people they make their living from this lake and th these are what the boats look like
Now in that village where I was walking through there, now of course the whole area is known as Muhuru Bay, but within Muhuru Bay itself there are various small villages and they have their own individual names as well. Now in that particular point where I was there, there must have been some uh, you know, misunderstanding because I guess some of the people didn't want to be filmed and they wasn't really happy about that and you know they asked me to pay some money if i want to take some pictures of the lake and so on so it wasn't that friendly that part of uh, mohuri bay where i went in comparison to other places which is which is rather um, unfortunate given the fact that you know i'm here to promote the place advertise the place and bring more tourists to actually visit Mohuru Bay because it's a beautiful place so that's something you know that needs to be work on and these are some of the things you may experience when you travel to various parts in East Africa anyways right now this is um, some more uh, you know scenes from the village itself I was going back to Migori after some time so this is um, I'm leaving the village now and this is what you will see some of the houses you're seeing right now that I'm driving past and behind that that's more views of the lake as well but all in all it's a, it's a lovely little village um, very laid back people got a chill vibe um, I, I feel that you know people may a bit be reserved to strangers coming in um sometimes um that's my experience anyway and yeah you do hear a lot of indigenous language being spoken there as well so if you don't really know anyone there it can be a bit awkward just going there filming but i did enjoy my time there it's it's not too far from migori town you could literally get a taxi to there and it costs around i believe uh 300 um Kenyan shillings I believe the cost was to come to this place so yeah it's an amazing experience guys and I'll show you a night scene of what it's like being back in Migori at night so this is a night scene of Migori town at night we had passed here previously but that was during the daytime and this is what it looks like at night and you can see the place is still busy and you know shops still they put on their bright lights and business is still going as usual so i do like the business um ethic they have here in migori and i didn't feel um worried for my safety or anything like that but definitely it's a place you definitely need to be careful at night um if you don't really know the area very well and stuff like that i would advise you to at least get the taxi or the border border and ask someone you know is it safe to go to a certain place or anything like that but generally the vibes is cool as you can see we're riding here there's still vendors on the streets and they're selling things like roast corn and chapati samosas and things like that so this is what migori looks like at night 